When you import motion capture data, you get an armature, a skeleton, and a set of keyframed poses created from the motion. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to link the motion capture armature to the skin of a stickman model created in previous tutorials so that the stickman performs the motion. If I change the view to the front view and go into edit mode and zoom in with the mouse wheel, we see the default pose. And if you want the motion capture data to be correctly transferred to the stickman, you need a stickman model in this pose. If I open the model of the stickman made in previous tutorials, I put the model into this pose which is close to the motion capture armature. If I grab the lower arm, press G to grab and make the arm as vertical as possible, G to grab. Now I want to replace this armature with a motion capture armature keeping the stickman skin in this pose. Select the skin, click the modifiers button. Now if I apply the armature modifier, the armature has deformed the stickman skin into this pose. If I apply the modifier, the deformation is made permanent. If I select the armature, go into object mode, delete the armature, the pose is permanent. Import the motion capture armature, file import motion capture. Go to the folder where you have the motion capture file and select it. Down here we have the settings for the import. Set the scale to 0.1 and import. Go into edit mode. Select the properties of the armature and turn X-ray on. Press A on the keyboard to select all bones. Press G to grab followed by Z for the Z direction and move the armature down. Press S to scale followed by Z for the Z direction and stretch the armature so that the collar bones and the hip bones are in the correct place. Tick X axis mirror. Select a hand bone, press G to grab and we see the bones are not connected. Control and Z. To connect the bones, hold down Shift and select the lower arm bone. Hold down Control and press P and click connected. Select the lower arm bone, hold down shift, select the upper arm bone, hold down control and press P, connected. Select the upper arm bone, hold down shift, select the collar bone, control P, connected. Pan down, shift and mouse wheel, select the foot bone, hold down shift, select the lower leg bone, hold down control P, connected. Select the lower leg bone, shift, upper leg bone, Control P, connected. Select the head bone, hold down shift, select the neck bone, Control P, connected. Zoom in with the mouse wheel, select the shoulder joint, press G to grab, followed by X for the X direction, and place that. Select the elbow joint, press G to grab, and I'm going to place that where I think the elbow would be in a stick man. Select the wrist joint, press G to grab, and I'm going to place that where I think it should go. And select the tip of the hand, press G to grab, and place that. Pan down, shift and mouse wheel. Select the knee joint, press G to grab, Z for the Z direction, and move that up. Select the ankle joint, press G to grab, Z for the Z direction, and move that up. Select the tip of the foot bone, G to grab, Z for the Z direction, and move that up. Pan up, shift and mouse wheel. Select the tail of the neck bone, press G to grab, Z for the Z direction, and move that down. Select the tail of the head bone, G to grab, Z for the Z direction, and move that up. Drag on the white diagonal lines to open up a new window. Drag to close the tool shelf, change the view to the right view. Now we need to line the bones up with the body. Select the hand bone, hold down shift, select the arm bones and the collar bone. I'm dragging with the middle mouse button to scroll the menu bar. Turn the 3D manipulator widget on. I'm dragging on the tip of the green arrow to move the arms back. 
select the tail of the chest bone and drag on the tip of the green arrow to move that back. Drag on the white diagonal lines to close the window. Go into pose mode. Press A on the keyboard to select all bones. In the pose menu, clear transform all. Select the skin. I'm going to click the modifiers button and I'm going to delete the subdivision surface modifier to make the skin more low polygon count. You can always add it again later. Hold down shift and select the chest bone. Hold down control and press P and set the parent to armature deform with automatic weights. Zoom back with the mouse wheel, press play and the stick man performs the motion. I will end the tutorial there. I'll put the start file, the end file and the motion capture file for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.